Hey, it's Chad with Drive the Lightning. Thanks for being here. Just for watching this video, you get a thumbs up because you deserve it. Do I deserve a thumbs up? Not yet. Make sure you like the video. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that little button. We're going to talk about the three things that I think, just me, think is going to change the automobile industry forever. Three things. Number one, building with efficiency in mind first. Now, several companies are developing around this, this idea that you can build an efficient car that people will actually want. One is Lightyear from the Netherlands. Uh, the other, and my favorite, is the Aptera. And what do you get when you build a, a car that's efficient before style? You get a weird looking car. Yeah, so people will love it because it's weird. Other people will say, well, that's, you know, my neighbors, are, they're going to hate me if I drive that thing through the neighborhood. So it's not, you know, it's not the kind of thing that has early adoption written all over it. But other companies have already taken a big swing at this and have gotten some regular good old fashioned people just to go ahead and adopt it. The BMW i3 is who I'm thinking of. Remember the first time you saw one of these on the road? If you're like me, you thought, what is that? It looks like a stormtrooper helmet or something. It's a weird little car. Well, it's weird for a reason. It has a carbon fiber chassis, a plastic body, skinny little tires to reduce friction. So weight, uh, friction, and aerodynamics kind of looks like a boxer fish. It cuts right through the ocean like it's a you know, hot butter or a hot knife through butter. But it was a weird looking car. But now hundreds of thousands of people, including my mom, by the way, are driving this car every day and we see it more and we're willing to start maybe i am anyway except that an efficient car might look weird that blows the door open for companies like aptera lightyear and others number two number two is using solar power in a real way now i say a real way because other companies are using solar power in their cars for example the nissan leaf sl has that little panel right on the back spoiler there but that panel will never charge the battery. You know, it might help in a small way maintain the 12 volt accessory battery or charge a cell phone or something, but that's it. But when you build a hyper efficient vehicle like the Lightyear or the Aptera, now all of a sudden solar panels, if we put enough of them out there, make a true difference. Focus on the Aptera for a moment. Now this car can go up to 40 miles a day just on solar power. That means just parking outside and letting it charge might be all you ever have to do to drive your Aptera. This would be a good time to mention, if you want to pre-order the Aptera because it's available for pre-order now, you can go to the, my link in the comments. I had to pay $100 to hold my spot in line. You can do it for $70 if you use my link. And then Aptera in exchange, they'll give me some money off my Aptera, which, hey, thank you. Okay, so moving on. So that's two. Hyper-efficient vehicles can actually make use of solar power. Number three, this is the three-wheeled vehicle adoption. Now, I'm sure almost none of you out there are driving a three-wheeled car right now because there's not a whole lot of them available. But would you? And maybe you think, no, I would never drive a three-wheeled uh, vehicle as my everyday car. The only one I can even think of myself just quickly is the uh, Polaris slingshot you've seen this it looks like a motorcycle but really big three wheels really cool probably a blast to drive but it would never be my everyday commuter certainly not in michigan but a few companies are coming out with three wheeled cars that can be our everyday car one is the noba company out of um, estonia looks like an old classic american car like an old studebaker or something doesn't it really cool styling the dashboard is all old and cool looking and you get over 100 miles, you know, on a charge. It could be a great commuter car. Another one uh, from uh, Canada. the I think it's called the Daymax Spiritus. little sporty little three-wheel car. Also uses some solar energy and has some other cool characteristics. Super fast. So these, and then my favorite, of course, we're going right back to the Aptera. The one that I've pre-ordered and the company that I've invested in. Now, Aptera has the ability to go 1,000 miles on a charge if you buy the biggest battery setup but even if you don't even if you buy the most accessible one the least expensive version they're still saying you're going to get 250 miles of range on a charge that's amazing plus whatever solar panel array you choose from you can get from you know a few miles a day up to 40 miles a day depending on where you live other three-wheel vehicles like Acromoto, they make like uh, personal mobility cars but now I, I, what i read today is they're building small delivery trucks so as we start to see three-wheel vehicles on the road at the end of this year, 
I think we're going to find out that they're going to become very popular uh, because being a two seater, most of them are two seaters. It's all you need a lot of times. You know, if you're just taking your, your, your friend to the beach or you're just going to get groceries or you're going back and forth to work, you know, a two seater is what you want. Now, if you have a family, you know, you're going to need a little bit bigger car. Fine. But for a lot of the driving, I know almost all the driving I do these days, these days, it's me and Sarah. Two-seater's fine. So once these three things get out there into play, this is why I think it's going to change everything. Because who's going to go back to building really inefficient, gas-guzzling cars after Aptera and Lightyear prove that you don't have to? Who's going to go back to building cars that don't utilize solar after it's proven that you can utilize solar? If you build an efficient car. And who's going to go back to building regular old four-wheel vehicles when most people are getting by okay with a two-seater and a three-wheel vehicle is perfect for them? This is what's happening. We'll see how it goes. If you have any agreements or disagreements, please, that's what the comments are for. Open free conversation here, all right? This video is about how you pre-order the Aptera. Some have called it clickbait. I don't care. It was a lot of fun to make. Have a great day. Thank you.